Hello, everyone. Um, for today, I want to show you all about the packet that you might have picked up from the bookstore um, and just go through all of the stuff that's in it. Um, all of these papers will also be available on Teams, and um, I'll probably end up showing you how to get to that as well. So let's jump straight in to all the pages. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to see is the periodic table. Um, this is, uh, it's nice. Uh, there's some stuff that you can write on it, and I'll tell you as we go through the videos in the future exactly what you should be writing on it. Um, this yellow piece of paper is your notes for unit one. Um, I'm going to make some videos breaking down each section and showing you what notes that you should be taking in that section. Um, this is a, sim a lab simulation that we're going to be doing, I think, the second day of the unit. And this is the unit packet for unit two. So it's marked with all the page numbers at the bottom, you can see. So in, I'll tell you explicitly which page numbers you should be working on at different times. Uh, these are both POGLs. So POGL is, it's P-O-G-I-L, capitalized. And if I remember correctly, it stands for Process Oriented Goal, no, no, it's Guided Inquiry Learning. Process Oriented Guided, guided Inquiry Learning. Um, so these are basically types of worksheets that are designed to help guide you through a topic. Um, it can be really, really helpful if you're not completely understanding something. This is the kind of thing where, especially with the first one, we'll definitely work on it together in class, um, probably in your breakout groups. Um, and you'll either be able to finish it then or continue to work on it on your own. Um, so these are also things you'll be able to, you can turn in. Um, and that's pretty much it for unit one. There will be one other lab type activity. I just don't have a printout for it for, it for you yet, but you will be able to find that in Teams and I'll direct you to it. So that is all unit one. By that I mean unit two, because we're skipping unit one. We're going straight to Adams. After that, you're going to find the exact same types of materials for all of the rest of the units. So for example, this is for unit, the notes for unit two. Um, unit three, I mean. I don't know why it says unit five packets. That's a small problem. Let me grab a pen. We're going to correct that. Oops. Yeah, get used to me and typos. It happens constantly. This is the unit three packet. So there's that. I'll remind you when we get to unit three. Um, you can see here's another pogle and another pogle um, and a third pogle. So lots of these super helpful resources. Unit three. Uh, unit four is about moles, which is a way of measuring. It's not a furry animal. We'll talk about that. It's about it's a way of measuring um, atoms and, and molecules and very small things. So there's notes and there's a packet for that. Um, that's unit four, and the packet does in fact say unit four. So good job, Drapkin. Hooray! Out of my back. Um, reactions. Uh, is the unit after that. So this is all about chemical reactions. So we have another one of these um, lab simulations that we'll do pretty much first. And then the unit five packet, and it is unit five, so this is good. Excellent. And another Pogol. Uh, the next thing is unit six. This is stoichiometry, which is kind of a fancy way of saying ratios. Again, we'll learn about it. So you've got your notes and your unit six packet and two more pogles. So there you go. Um, if your packet that you picked up is missing any of these things, um, I'm, oops, sorry about that. Um, but those things kind of happen sometimes. So it is what it is. Um, I will still be able to get you more information, more, more uh, printed materials if you need them, or you can print them yourself, or you can do them all online. Um, the purpose of all of this, again, is so that you have something physical to use so you don't have to be on your screens all the time. Uh, but if you prefer to work completely digitally, that's fine with me. In terms of turning things in, um, if you decide to do some sort of editing 
in a digital format, you can send me that. Or you can um, work off a paper copy and just take a picture and send that to me. So that's kind of up to you. This is for, again, for the entire semester. So if you're missing anything, there's plenty of time to get it to you. Um, this first unit, unit one, two, unit two, I have to remember, unit two is our first unit, confusing, um, is going to take about two weeks. So it ends up being 11 days. Uh, that's including the test. So two weeks for material, um, and then the Monday will be the test. At least that's the schedule I have now unless things change. So take a look at that. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will post this in Teams. And there you go. So until next time, see ya.